Okay, folks, so I am playing a fully 100% focused Master Yi game here. I am not going to lose focus. I'm going to show you guys how to climb efficiently, do everything that I do. I promise it will not let you down, even though I did this last game and I lost. But my teammate went AFK. You guys know those feels, okay? Your teammates go AFK sometimes. All right, so we have this fight going on in the top lane. We have the jungler over here probably getting his leash. We're going to be tracking him with the full glory of our mini-map here. And so we're just going to go ahead and keep an eye on what's going on in all the lanes. If you guys hit F1, it will focus on your character like that. If you hit F2, it will focus on the top lane. Hang on, I'm going to do that in a second. F2 to focus on the top lane here. F3 for mid, four, five. That get you down to who you need to see at any given moment here. So we now know that that guy is probably near the Raptors. Who are we even juggling against? I am not as focused as I thought. So the thing is, guys, is you kind of have to spend a little bit of time researching junglers to know exactly how their clear would be. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and ping on my bot a few times because we know Viego could possibly be bot lane or he could be in blue plus Gromp. And that means that we might run into him as we try to gain top lane here. Hmm. This is, uh, it's rough. Oh, Gameplank used his stuff. Okay. I think we can actually roll up on this. Oh, I just hit the barrel. We're not going to talk about that, guys. All right, there we go. First blood secured, and I kind of zoned out, so I didn't see. But I have a feeling that Viego's over here. We have a ward over here giving us some vision. So if I was Viego, right, obviously, I'd probably be over here. I'm going to me ping it a few times, but it is possible that he was down here. I'm pretty sure he started down here. I did not check the enemy bot lane to see if they leashed. But with that vision from Fiddlesticks, we're looking in really good shape. Now, with that said, guys, I don't want to be competing for this top side crab because... I'm low HP. I don't have any pots. I decided to buy a pink ward over the uh, pot this game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so MF's getting a kill down there. And yeah, because we are tracking to Viego, we know where he's at. We can kind of give some certainty to our bot lane that he's probably not going to go bot, right? And we also have this nice little fiddlesticks ward here, which is doing work. Grab point and meditate so that if we do run into Viego here, we have... I got stuck on that blast plan. We have some way of competing. But yeah, we, we know that he's probably down here. So let's go ahead and ping up here. Um, I'm just going to ping it a few times for Jay so he can be a little bit aware that he probably shouldn't push up, which is probably what I should be doing. I haven't pinged that location of Viego in a while. And Viego still hasn't showed himself on the minimap, so we're just going to assume that he is at the topside crab here. I mean, that sounds about right. And he probably went back to base, and he's on his way back to bot lane here almost. Nope, there he is. He is on that topside crab. We did ping it. Okay, in my defense, we did ping it. We did ping it. I'm coming. Okay. We're, we're good. So he has 28 CS. He has eight more to me, but I did manage to pick up a gank, uh, which, you know, kind of makes it uh, worthwhile for me. So we're going to grab this Gromp, and I'm actually going to begin a full clear here. Obviously, I would uh, prefer if I could go back and buy. Actually, I will be able to do that because these Raptors are spawning in another minute. So we could just grab this Wolf Camp. We can go back, and we can be buying the components that we need. And since we're running the Futures Market here, we'll be able to pick up more items than we normally would on first back, right? What is that Zillion doing? He is clearing the ward. And we know Viego is down here. So I'm just going to ping it a few times because he did start pathing down towards that way. He had his full clear. The Krugs were respawning. So I have a good feeling he's down there. So let's get him back. Okay, so we were correct. Viego is in the bot lane. And I did ping it, to be fair. I pinged it a lot. I actually pinged it a lot. And they still died. Okay, I'm just going to use my pings to express my disappointment that they weren't listening to me. And maybe in the future they will listen. Wait, that's a zillion. Wait, that wasn't Viego, was it? Oh, yeah, it was Viego. Yeah, 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 that was Viego. Why is, okay, I'm confused. Yeah, that was Viego. He picked up somebody else. Okay, so we're right about Viego. Uh, now he went back over here. He has 29 CS, so he actually went back. And now he's going to do his Krugs. Okay, so that actually makes a lot of sense. So Viego is over here. I'm going to ping it. Right here, we're keeping an eye for Zed. He knows that he can hug this side because I have control over where Viego is. So Viego is definitely in these Krugs, or the Raptors, right now. He's clearing them. He's doing another full clear upwards here. We know that Viego is a full clear kind of guy. And uh, I'm just going to keep clearing him. We got the Karthus Flash. Guys, I'm going to be honest, guys. When I'm like sitting here trying to ch uh, chase this Viego through the jungle... I cannot track a flash to save my life. I just, I cannot do it. I cannot do it because it's just, it's going to be too much work for me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and clear these raptors. We know VA goes over here in this side of the jungle, and he's probably getting pretty close to clearing it, right? So he's probably about a camp and a half ahead of me. So he's probably just now clearing his uh, Krugs or Gromp or whatever. And we know that we can pivot over towards the Crab and the boss side river because we know the Viego is topside, and he's either looking for a topside gank or backing. 
right? So I'm going to go ahead and Mia ping the bot side here. He could potentially be coming up here, especially with this thing popping up here. But we do know, as I mentioned, that the crab will be available because we knew he was over there. And I have a good feeling that he is going to be coming for uh, bot side now. Like, I just have a really good feeling about this because his red buffs up. He already full cleared top. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I was wrong. 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 We tried. Bro, bro, his clear was slower than I thought. My bad. I can get dragon though. You gotta pivot. You gotta pivot to a good situation, guys. We go for dragon. To a good situation. It's no big deal. Like I'm on this side of the map anyway. It's free dragon if he appears top line. I thought he already full cleared his uh, jungle there. That'd be something interesting that you can go back and watch a replay for to see what took him so long, and that'll slowly help you improve your, uh, you know, your tracking in, in the future. Cause I don't, I don't typically track dra jungles, guys. So, you know, as you uh, track them more and more and more, you kind of get used to it. So we do know that Viego is probably rolling the bot lane now, but I think that I can do this. Hey, buddy. Whee! No! Okay, Viego's bot. Oh, I see him on the minimap. I was going to say, he's bot, and I need to be careful, right? But, yeah, uh, he's literally he's literally bot, right? He has 45 CS here. He's going up. Did he take his red earlier? I guess he did not take his red. So he's going for his red now. But we knew he was bot, even though he literally showed on the minimap, as I said. That. But we knew he was botish because he did go for top side. He's getting this, and he's probably going to clear his full bot side jungle now. I can see that going for him. So he's probably like in his Krugs, might clear Raptors, and then go for a top side gank, right? Or sorry, a bot side gank. And that's something you got to be careful of is like, even though you know where they're clearing, they might go for a uh, gank on a lane near their place, right? Yo, what is this? Come on, man. He's going to sweep the red, isn't he? It's going to be really bad timing for me. But I could just uh, grab this with my, uh, my smite. And we still know that Viego is probably bot side. Mm hmm Yep, there he is. Showing up. He got 49, 53 CS. So he got 53 CS and he had red buff. I believe he had red buff. I didn't really get the greatest of looks here. Yep, he had red buff, so he still has his full jungle clear. I'm not sure why he has not done those Krugs yet. But now that we know he's bottom, it's a free rift herald. So we're gonna go grab that rift. And he does have raptors up. Zed's putting some pressure on him. And this can be a nice free rift herald for me. Now he skipped Krugs. Uh, we know he skipped Krugs because he had 49 CS, right? Or did he have 43? Okay, you know what? It's not important. We don't care if you skip Krugs. Don't let those don't let those uh, those distractions get to you guys. Useless info. Useless info. We don't care if you skip Krugs. But I thought he had like I thought he had 49 CS. Oh god, I'm stuck. And then I thought he had 43. But anyway, he's probably making his way up here towards uh, this side of the jungle. So I'm actually expecting to run into Viego here. Let's just go and sweep this down and see if we can find him. Oh, there he is. Okay. Pick me up a, a blue buff here. <laughs> <laughs> Not the personal, kid. It's just business. All right. So let's roll up and grab ourselves the thing here. So we know Viego's here. And that's the thing, guys, is we lose track of, like, pinging. Like, we, we're so hyper-focused on figuring out where he is, we forget to ping him. Right? Let's get this kill. Wait. How did he dodge that? Ow. Okay, so guys, honestly, I shouldn't have fought that with so much gold. I thought I could outplay it. I tried to dodge the uh, stun from Viego there, and I missed. And also, you can see how this uh, kind of killed my momentum a little bit, where I'm uh, not paying as much attention to where Viego could possibly be, right? So, we know, uh, honestly, since he was top, he's probably bot now. So, we're just going to ping that. We have lost a little bit of focus there. Yeah, there he is, right there. 71 CS, 72 CS. He just picked up a ward. Probably cleared. Oh, I want to get this. He has a really big bounty. He has a really big bounty. I think we can do this. Do you have your stun? Oh, no. That's a no-go. That's a no-go. I was there to help. Um... I don't know what's going on with this Karthus, dude. But I'm going to roll up, and I'm going to see if I can't deny him his Raptors. Because we know he did Krugs, but he might not have done Raptors. Wait, is there a Zillion Bomb in this? Oh, there is a Zillion Bomb in this push, boys. Come on, man. <laughs> don't be like that, bro. 
Okay, I'm trolling, I'm trolling, I'm trolling, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Hey, Zed, you might want to <laughs> just get out of here a little bit. Uh, you know, I was trolling a little bit. Okay, I'm going to roll up to this, and I'm just going to pop Shelly in all of her glory. Shelly, I choose you. Okay, Viego's coming. I didn't want that proximity tower gold anyway. You know what? I'm going to go take this. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, there's no blast plant there. I'm coming anyway. <laughs> this gameplay has no idea what's going on. Okay, he died anyway. Okay, I'm just going to back. Though this dragon might be... Oh, he's right there. Okay, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. He's in He's in Gromp. He's 100% in his Gromp. Okay, very nice. Did he clear his wolves? No, he did not. They're mine now. But yeah, you can see how, guys, when you're tracking the enemy jungler, it just makes your life easier, right? We know he's not going to come back topside. There's nothing here for him, right? And he's going to be trying to go and compete for that dragon. So we're going to back, and we're going to buy some items. Okay, never mind. We're going to go top and kill game plank, and we're probably going to go ahead and concede that dragon. But you know what? It's going to be worth it for my Jace. It's going to be worth it. Where you at, Gangplank? Vroom, vroom, baby. Vroom, vroom. Whee! All right, you know what? It's worth it, guys. Look at that. I got 10 gold from the barrel. Okay, so I'm just going to kill this. My bot lane's doing an okay job. Honestly, I'd be okay with conceding that dragon even if my bot lane didn't have prio. Viego's not going to be up here because he already knows he has no camps here. He's probably going to be making a move for bot lane or dragon. Like 100% he's making a move for that. So let's go back and buy. Okay, so Viego is most certainly on bot. Oh, well, now we know he's definitely on bot. And I went ahead and I picked up a Gunju's Rage Blade. And the reason why is I obviously I want Death Dance. But the thing is, guys, is like, it's just, I had 2,600 gold. I had exactly enough for Gintus, right? Oh, that's really rough. Okay, that works. And Zed gonna pop him. Pop him. Dude, he has a five level diff. Jesus. Get him, Zed. Chase them all down, bro. <laughs> Did he still add ulti? Oh, my God. Car Did I see why Karth? Oh, my God. Nice. Okay, folks. So, analyzing the situation here, we know where Viego is going to be, right? Take a guess. Okay. If you guess topside, you're correct because he was just bottom. There's no dragon anymore. He probably cleared the camps and his topside is fully spawned. And now Rift Herald is the possible objective that we're going to be fighting over, right? Now, having this info is very important because it prevents your team from dying to the enemy jungler, which is the number one cause for losing games when your team dies to the enemy jungler. Although, I did kind of forget to ping it. Like, I knew where he was, but while I was telling you where he was, I did not ping it. And so, unfortunately, Jace has fallen. And that's why it's important to know where they are, but to also tell your team where they are. So, I just showed you what happens when you don't ping your team, right? So it, it is what it is. But yeah, you can see that we clearly knew what side of the map he was going to go on. It's really like at the basic principle that like that guess right there, it wasn't hard, right? Like he has nothing in bot lane. There's no dragon in bot lane. Rift Herald's up here, right? Just pretty, what? pretty basic. Okay, so let's grab ourselves the Rift Herald that denies him the bounty. And we're going to go for a clear over here. Next item is going to be Death Dance. And then afterwards, I am probably going to be looking at, I don't know, maybe a shield bow or something. Do you guys like this skin? I don't use this skin very often, but I'm actually really liking this skin a lot. Like, I, I, I like the alpha. I hate the, like, I hate the overall autos and stuff, but the alpha on this skin, like, it looks really cool. And that's game right there. And that's what happens when you track the enemy jungler and you predict his every move. Don't forget to ping him on the mini map.